Hello everyone. I'm Kushal Pandya, Engineering Manager for Product Planning, part of Plan Stage at GitLab. Uh, I'm going to be showing a demo of linked work items, which is a feature that we have been working on for the past couple of weeks. Uh, this feature is similar to what we have available for issues and epics, where you can relate an issue with each, uh, with other issue via one of the three uh, relationship types. Similarly, in case of epics, you can relate an existing epic uh, to an epic via one of the three uh, different relationship types. So we are adding this widget for uh, work items as well. So now you can see that we have linked items widget available in case of work items, where you can click on uh, this add form and it will open a similar form uh, where you can select one of the relationship types and then add a work item via this input field. Uh, so when I click on this input field, it shows a drop down here where I can select one of the existing work items by clicking on it and then it shows as a token uh, within the input field. And then when I click on add, it will get added uh, to the view. Uh, the listing itself is similar to what we have for hierarchy widgets where uh, you can basically see all the metadata information that is available within the listing. Also, you can click on these items and it will open a model window where you can see more details for a given work item and add a couple of, uh, or add and update a couple of attributes uh, from the model window. And then clicking on model will basically update uh, the metadata within the linked items view itself. Uh, there are a couple of changes uh, with regards to behavior of this feature. So let's go through those. So first uh, change uh, is basically when you focus on this input field, the dropdown that you see here, uh, the value or the number that you see within this uh, listing is uh, IID of the work item instead of global ID. We used to show global ID here, but now we have changed it to use IID because it matches with what we have within the header of this page as well as breadcrumb and the URL. Another change or rather a limitation of this feature for now is that at a time you can add at the most three items. So for instance, if I select more than three items within this input, uh, it will prevent me from adding those items because uh, the add button itself will get disabled and user will be seeing this error. But if I remove one of the items and now I have a total of three items, so I can uh, go ahead and add those items within the view. This was done for performance reasons. So we are planning to get rid of this limitation uh, in future milestones. But as a first iteration of this feature, we are going to have this limitation in place. So if you want to add more than three items, you would have to do it in batches of three. Uh, another change that we have made is Unlike issues and epics, you can add at the most 100 items as related to a work item. Uh, in case of issues and epics, there isn't any such limitation, but we are keeping that limitation for work items to match with what we have for hierarchy widgets. So in case of hierarchy widget, you can have any parent basically can have at the most of 100 children. Similarly, in case of linked work items, uh, you can have at the most of 100 related items. Uh, if you... Uh, remove one of the existing items, then you can change or replace uh, its category. But in total, uh, there can only be up to 100 items as related to a given work item. Uh, there are some front-end limitations as well, uh, which we are planning to address soon uh, in the future iterations. So within this input field, uh, you cannot paste a URL of a work item. You would have to select work item from this dropdown. You cannot use IID of a work item to autocomplete. So for instance, if I want to add this particular work item, which has IID 67, I cannot just type in 67 and press, press space uh, to have it tokenized. I would have to either search this dropdown via title of a work item, or I can uh, just go through this entire dropdown and select one of the item from the dropdown and then uh, add it as related. So those are some front-end limitations that we are planning to address soon. But as of now, uh, input field can only allow adding items via the autocomplete dropdown. Also, uh, there are a couple of enhancements as well as far as this input uh, field is concerned. So you can click on add items and continue to add items, but the dropdown will not close upon selection. Focus will remain within the input field. So you can choose to remove items or add items before you can close the dropdown and then click on add button. So yeah, uh, this feature will be available behind a feature flag in 16.5. The feature fl flag itself will be defaulted to false, but we uh, plan to make a general availability in the upcoming milestone. We are also going to be updating our documentation to include this change, as well as we'll be posting link to uh, its feedback issue in case you want to uh, make some suggestions around this feature. So, yep.
Thanks a lot.